There is no more of an appropriate place when this, that, that this should be. Black Lives Matter is right here on the Sepsis City Hall. In small part, next to our veterans. The veterans of this wonderful country, black or white, male or female, who died, who died so that we all could put this statement here. We should never forget that. Remember our veterans. I know we had uh, a, a gold, a bronze star, two times bronze star veteran uh, sitting over there below, uh, sitting there before. I don't know if he's still there. But, he's, here, uh, he's here somewhere. This yeah. Behind you. What? Raise your hand right there. Bronze star veteran. Thank you. Yonkers has had a storied history when, it, his, history when it's come to race relations. We were the only city to actually uh, be in a dual desegregation order, where the federal courts came in and forced integration of its schools and its neighborhoods. Both. Only city in America that's ever been done to since. We know how wonderfully diverse we are. We're a city of over 100 different nationalities. There's over 60 different languages that are spoken. And you know what? We're here today to speak in one voice, to say that, yes, we agree that there's implicit bias to this in our criminal justice system, in our educational system, and in our economic systems, and that we want to join with the African American in seeing reforms. So what we have here in this, in this slogan is nice. Yes, it looks pretty. Yes, yes. Guys did a great job, the Arts. Yes. But we want, we want it to become more than that. Because at the end of the day, it's really about those reforms. You know, when 9-11 when, uh, when happened, and those planes went into the World Trade Center just a few miles down the road down there, you know, this country moved. This country created an entire different department, Department of Homeland Security, spent a trillion dollars, a trillion dollars, hired 66,000 new officers to help out in the effort to keep, to, to safeguard our borders. So when people tell me that this country can't make reforms, not, this country can do whatever it wants, when it wants to do it. And so when you look at the, when you look at what's happening in the streets of American cities, over 44, so the number I heard, uh, young, mostly young men, mostly African American men, dying in the streets of American cities each and every single day for a host of reasons. So we're here today in solidarity to say we need to make changes, that all black lives matter, and we want to make sure that the message is out there and that the reforms are made, but the reforms can only happen if we continue to voice ourselves and to be heard. In Yonkers, we had a number of, of uh, activities and marches. And we were the symbol of America because we showed how it should be done. We peacefully marched. We marched together, all of us, no matter what our background was. And we came together because we realized and we understand that the, the issues, especially of poverty, seem to be directed in one group. How do we change that? We change it just like we did when we decided to take a stand against those who committed those atrocities to us down in New York. So let's take a stand today and let's make the changes and let's stand behind our African American community and let's look forward and move forward for a better and brighter future for our country. God bless you. Thank you.